I'm a big believer in facing the truth. I would rather be hurt by the truth and blamed by bullshit. I've always been that way. And I had an NT wife email me today. Says, well, you know, you could use neurodiverse instead of autism spectrum disorder because, you know, so these guys are sensitive. And I think that, they, you know, my husband is real sensitive and he, he doesn't want to, you know, admit that he has, might have this disorder. And um, so you've heard of this term, right? Neurodiverse. And, it, you know, it's, it's a politically correct term and it would, you know, be a little more sensitive. So, um, duly noted, but um, I don't think you guys are that fragile that I have to be. I, I'm not really into being politically correct. Um, plus, I use neurodiversity to describe the couples. When I say neurodiverse couples, I mean one has autism, one does not. So the reason I'm not willing to use neurodiverse for you guys is because um, there's no shame involved. To use neurodiverse to kind of sugarcoat it a little bit implies that there's something to be ashamed of. No. Period. ASD level one is what we're referring to now. There's two other levels. And it has to do with levels of functioning. You're already aware of that. You guys are all ASD level one, which is high functioning. Um, so think of ASD level one as simply a, I don't like the term disorder, though, I will tell you that. Because there again, that sounds like there's something wrong or bad or to be ashamed of. So I do not like the term disorder. So I guess I do want to be politically correct on that. I prefer to call it a condition or a different way of thinking because I think that's more in alignment with the reality of things. And you could think of it as a condition of social skills um, being low, social needs being low, logic being high. And that's kind of your saving grace. That is your strength, your logic. We wouldn't have this computer we're talking about right now if we didn't have somebody on the autism spectrum, Asperger's syndrome, and, and back in that day, Bill Gates. The engineering field is full of people on the spectrum. Computer sciences, they're all over the place. It's almost a stretch to call you guys in the minority because there's so many undiagnosed people crawling around all over the planet. If, the, if, if we could get to the bottom of things, we might find that 30% or 40% of people, the entire people on the planet are on the spectrum. That sounds like a bizarre exaggeration. It's not because there's a lot of people that have these traits, but nobody has put two and two together yet and or done some research and thought, ha, hey, maybe you have this thing called ASD level one. They just, they don't, enter, they just go on with life and they don't even entertain the idea. So there's more people that have it than have been diagnosed with it or that even have talked about 